Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Scorpio, it's time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for November of 2023 or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit, which I do love and appreciate. If you could return the love for me, Scorpio darling, and love the like down here, help get us out into the algorithm, I would appreciate it. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe, set the bell to all notifications and help the family grow. I also go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. Come and hang out and be a part of the fam. And also feel free to page the swords all over my channel as much as you like. Check out my base covers in my playlist with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. Good music. And I've also got some pick a card readings where my decks pick you. Check that out and see how that works. And all of your weeklies, monthlies, and lives neatly prioritized into enjoyable playlists for your viewing enjoyment. So just make it a day and binge watch Archer. And don't forget Scorpio. Mark your calendar because I am going live for an 11-11 live on Saturday, November 11th at 12 noon Eastern, and it's a collab with J-Dub. We're going to do an all signs reading where I'm going to handle the tarot. She's going to handle astrology and house placements. You're going to learn a lot. She's going to do questions and answers during the intermission after Virgo before Libra, and we're also giving away two tarot decks and a clock. That's right. You have three chances to win during the collab, okay? In order to enter, get over, I'm going to put the link down in the comments and descriptions for you, Scorpio. Get over to my November 1st live that's on the channel here and posted. And um, one, subscribe to my channel. Two, love the like over on the November 1st live. And then down in the comments on the November 1st live, I mean, you can do this after you checked out your signs reading, okay? Do that too. All your placements, I don't mind. But then leave a comment down there on the November 1st live with hashtag contest, hashtag Archer Astrology. Hashtag anything you want, your sun sign, your moon sign, I don't care, just hashtag. Hashtag whatever you want, and you are entering the contest. We're going to do three chances to win at the November 11th collab, Saturday, 11-11, at 12 noon Eastern. Feed that. All right, let's do it, Scorpio. Oh, yeah, follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want. And you can also, or don't, oh, and you can also email me at archerastrology at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. All right? Woo, the Taurus Hierophant card just flipped itself over. Put that back. Fixed energy. Something about you and Taurus might resonate. All right. Dude, something about Libra might resonate to you, too. You, like, took over the Libra reading, Scorpio. I started calling Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio at the beginning of the reading. Totally fumbleited it up. But I left it. It's there. So that might resonate, okay? All right. So let's see. For Scorpio and the one on your mind for November of 2023, thoughts, feelings, emotions, please and thank you, Spirit. And, of course, only highest and greatest good only. That's a prereq to be with us, Spirit Archer. So we are good and grateful for it. And, of course, English, por favor. All right, here we go. For Scorpio's highest and greatest good, we're going to use my Grand Theft Auto for your nine-card spread with a tenth card outcome at the bottom. And then we're going to throw, like, a billion clarifiers at it with the Crow deck. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Thanks for being here, too, Scorpio. Appreciate you. All right, Scorpio and the one on your mind. You know who that is. November 2023. Thoughts, feelings, emotions, both sides of the coin. Let's go for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, wherefore art thou, Scorpio? Two shuffles. Here we go. It's the page of wands. Scorpio's out dancing, having a good time. Happy birthday, by the way. All right, cool. Let's go, Scorpio. Two shuffles. One. And two. Page of Cups. Law of Attraction. Cancer Energy shows up with the moon. I got the moon. There's something you are manifesting big time. You're working the night shift too. Maybe you're a night out. Maybe you, and there's the Page of Wands. So the two of Wands back. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's do it. You ready, Scorpio? Let's love this deck for the sexy Scorpios. Oh, I should only do that for Virgo. You got one out of me. That's your birthday present. All right. <laughs> The bottom of the card, your outcome is justice. Did I not mention the Libra reading, how you took over the beginning of the Libra reading and were there for the whole reading, and I kept calling Libra Scorpio. You could be a Libra Scorpio cusper as well, too, on that side of the energetical fence. But with that Ten of Wands and the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands, oh my God, and the lovers underneath it, holy cow, we're going to stop at five cards deep, okay? Because that's a lovers, and that's a deep choice. And if you want to keep going, if you want to be like, well, Archer, give me seven cards. No problem. I got you. Got you, Scorpio. Six and seven or nine and ten of cups. Straight up Pisces energy because the choice is going to be made to love you. They're choosing to love you. You're choosing to love them. 
love is love that's literally what i'm seeing and you are a rock star about it there's a commitment to this choice underneath here with the lover's card gemini energy you're making the choice for love and spirit's saying wish granted with this one here in your outcome strong libra energy all right let's go let's do it scorpio your present position is the seven of cups the card of options and choices but also the card of the chakras and you do actually go through seven levels of evolution in your life as a scorpio you are the most unique freaking sign for that nobody else does it only you all right, that's your present position is weighing out all your options, balancing out all your heart chakras. Before you sit there and go, ah, oh, no, Archer, this means I got all, my milkshake bringing all boys to you. All your chakras are lining up when you couple it into this. It's, there's a reason. There's a reason you have the Seven of Cups card. It's one of your minor arcanas, okay? All your chakras line up. Notice the colors. Those colors kind of match the chakras, don't they? Just saying. All right, the immediate influence on that Seven of Cups is the Queen of Swords, Gemini energy, Scorpio Gemini so far. And look at as you level up and work through these with your chakras, you're actually dreaming, thinking, and creating from it. You notice how this Queen of Swords is is working on something, creating, thinking about things, thinking about the energies. All right, you are actually learning and manifesting and growing from this. I see you as a teacher of sorts as we go through this energy. All right, taking it forward here, your goal or destiny, how could it not be? Three of Cups, Cancer energy. And wanting the happiness and asking spirit for the help with the happiness. Love is love. It's definitely, it, it's going to go that way here. Just focusing on your work at the moment with the queen of swords, but your goal or destiny. The outcome that you got, Lorraine, it's your density. Back to the future. Three of cups, happiness, strong cancer, Gemini, and so your energy with Scorpio, okay? And the seven and three is ten, too. July 3rd or March 7th could also be dates that resonate to you or your life path, seven or three, all right? Let's go forward into this one as we check out the back side, okay? On the back nine, we've got in the distant past influence, we have the full card. So maybe possibly, like, in the past influence was you always took risks, you always took chances, and you always wound up getting hurt for it. Like, every time you're like, okay, I'm going to give this person a chance. Okay, I'm going to give this person a chance. Okay, I'm going to give my brother a chance. Okay, I'm going to give mom a chance. Well, whoever it was you you got freaking kamikaze about it and it never worked out and you're like well you know it's fine then just nobody else gets new chances anymore if nothing gonna work out why do i keep trying that sort of a thing that creates towards your blockages the strength card leo energy and the ability to rise above that and it's kind of like one last dose of willpower being like you know what i know there's still good somewhere in the world three of cups and i'm gonna give it one more shot you're not jaded by this you're not not like overcome by it it might have taken you a little longer to heal this time than, than usual, possibly. Like maybe 11 months, something to about the number 11 or January 1st or, well, heck, 11, that's November. That's you, right? But something about that rains out, Aries and Leo energy, that you're working to actually overcome the blockages and, and to ascend. You're in your solar return. It's the level and the point of ascension for a Scorpio right now that's happening, and that's where you want to come from, and you're having the strength to get that one last dose of willpower and kind of go on in a live and let live energy, all right? That takes us to the future influence, the four of wands. This came out as a past influence for Libra, the twin flame card and the card of, of leveling up union. There could even possibly, this being the future influence, there could be an energetical shift, a complete flip-flop where the runner becomes the chaser and the chaser becomes a runner. Twin flame, soulmate connection, and a wish being granted because we're at a point of energetical change here, Scorpio. So it's big time news, all right? Um, you're, and, and if you are on the twin flame journey or however, whatever hyperbole you use to identify that, if you want to call it the fox and the hound, um, it's here. They're here, okay? April 3rd is welcome right now to you. Libra energy. All right, going forward, your incoming energy is the Knight of Pentacles. It's taken forever, but it's tried, tested, and true. The sweetest chef from the Muppets shows up to make you a filet mignon fit for a king. Your incoming energy is being rewarded for your patience. Something about Sagittarius energy reigns in on that one along with Virgo. Okay? That it, it might not have gotten here right away. Okay? I know the Knight of Pentacles. He's a slow-moving Knight of Pentacles. He stops at every rest area on the trip, so to speak. You know? Even if it's just to stop to walk and stretch his legs and get off the horse for a minute. But by the time he gets there, it's the U.S. Postal Service. And it arrives neither rain or sleet nor snow. The Knight of Pentacles makes it to his destination, eventually. All right, that takes you to the environmental factors around that, the Queen of Cups. Nurturing yourself, healing yourself, 
an unconditional love that's coming out of this. The environmental factors are spirit wanting you to heal, wanting you to take time to focus, to, to, to feel the love that you want to feel. This is unconditional and it goes a distance. You've got strong Cancerian energy with this three of cups down to the queen of cups here as well. Okay. That leads us towards your inner emotions as we get into this. And we have the emperor, your power standing there, coming back. You have a lot of strong Aries energy coming out of this one as well, Scorpio, which is one of the most common twin flame connections in this in this timeline. But um, you guys both actually wind up doing the work in a situation that brings this back, and this person goes from loving you to falling in love with you. Um, literally, a wish being granted. Strong Aries when the four to this four comes down here. Angel number 44 shows up, as well as I'm seeing April 7th, also possibly April 8th. All right, so you've got some heavy Leo anchoring the center of your reading, Scorpio. A large amount of Aries coming in on the back nine. You've also got, um, who else we got? Cancers hanging out. Big time Aries, man. Totally. But Aries and Leo, dude. A lot of fire in this side here. Then Gemini, Scorpio, and Cancer. And also Libra and Sagittarius affecting the outcome, too. All right? A lot of knowledge and a lot of balance. Holy cow, the pre-shuffles of Six of Wands. you got victory. Oh, dude, Caitlin Petty could totally be a Scorpio. This would be her standing on stage right now. And getting a standing ovation to all freaking 55,000 Beatles, Shea Stadium, epic sellout crowd. That girl's going to get a freaking epic record contract, Four Swords. Okay, let's get some clarifiers on this here. Get the clarifiers on Seven of Cups, Queen of Swords, and Three of Cups. You got Cancer, Scorpio, and Gemini in your current energies. And your past forward is straight up all Aries and Leo. And then your forward momentum is Virgo, Cancer, Aries. Wow, that's pretty cool energy. Right, let's go. Might not be your person, but I'll bet you they got that somewhere in one of their charts somewhere. All right, judgment card. The Ten of Wands. Ten Ten could be something that comes up because look, the Ten of Wands is on both of these. Eight of Pentacles to the devil. Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles. See? Look at my money. So at this moment here, you've got a lot of focus on your work. The devil to the King of Pentacles. But with Saturn going direct and the new moon, the dude, the new the fourth, the fours. The new moon energy in your sign. When the sun and the moon both come into Scorpio, boom, it's go point. You're pressing turbo boost and, and jumping for this one. You guys do work well together here, and it's going to be the time. You're going to feel like it's go time. I do not pull evil energy or the obsessions and the addictions off of this like I did for Libra. For you, I straight up pull Capricorn's motivation. Uh, my sister's a Capricorn. I know a lot of Capricorns in my life. Yeah, my parents had two cardinal signs. See how that one worked out for my childhood. But this here, dude... A Capricorn can have multiple jobs, run a family, maintain uh, multiple things, as well as still being like the best cheerleader you're going to find in the ultimate, like, come on, it's go time. Let's do this. We're ready. That's the energy you're going to come into, especially as the, the sun and the moon both line up into your sign. All right. You've been wishing for this four of wands. It's your future influence too. And I'm seeing something about a necklace. Like a Scorpio has got a favorite necklace with a favorite little pendant. Or a locket on it. And like as you drive in the car. Or you're just at home and you're in those stressful moments. You clutch it while you talk. And you don't realize that casts, that casts spells. It casts energies to help you heal. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. The Three of Cups. You could be a life path number 33. And that's a past master's. That's, that's an ascended number coming in. There's a lot of knowledge coming your way here. Of this wish. Maybe like you're just scrubbing that necklace and saying just get me through these next 10 minutes. Something like that. But doing so actually helps you to balance your emotions. It's like eating an elephant. You take it one bite at a time. And you're going to start liking this feeling a lot more as you motivate yourself. Three cups of the devil, cancer, Capricorn energy. All right. Give us clarifiers on the past here. And um, you know what? This making yourself a priority. King of Pentacles to the devil card. It's, it's, it's looking hot for your birthday, okay? And what you've got here is looking out for what makes you happy. Strength card. And... Maybe you're even going through one of your solar or Saturn return thingies on coupling up to the solar return. You know what I mean? Like you're either like around the age of 27 or 39, or sometimes we get grateful and fortunate enough to get a third one in the golden years. You're, just, you're going off to Boca Raton to enjoy some drinks down by the pool and play with the Cabana boys. Hold on. Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio's like, that's totally what I want to do, Archer. Cabana boys, Virgo energy, ten of Pentacles, eat in a page of cups. You made it pop out of the deck too, Scorpio. That's craziness. That's so crazy, I'm laying that down. The fool card of the Ten of Pentacles, third time's a charm, one last dose of willpower to get you there. And that Seven of Cups too, you're going through multiple levels of ascension for your solar return. Page of Cups, Cancer energy to the Knight of Swords, Gemini. So it's kind of like this, Scorpio... 
This allows you to go through this transformation from everything that you've been through. And like I was mentioning, it's why the Seven of Cups is one of your cup cards, one of your cards in the Minor Arcana, okay? Because it 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 it, it shows and, and is an example, or or it gives, it, it shows the seven incarnations of Scorpio, Hangman, Pisces energy. Pause. Hold on, just go with me on this one, okay, Scorpio? Because you are the only sign out of all twelve of us that goes through seven levels of ascension, okay? Now, like when you start out, the youngest, the youngest and, and newest form of the Scorpio is the Spider. That is the stage that many Scorpios in this lifetime pass that before incarnating, okay? Before you even come into the vessel. Yeah, seven of wands. Before you, while you're still in the womb, you're, you're the spider phase of Scorpio. Knight of cups. Keep going, Archer. Okay, cool. Grateful. Thanks. All right. Then you hit level two. Level two is the scorpion, what we're all known as. The most common incarnation of Scorpio is the scorpion. It's also known as the collective, a.k.a. the collective, all right? Hey, man's back. Pisces energy. You're on a roll. Keep going, Archer. Just go with it, okay? As you get into the third phase, you go into the level of the lizard, five of cups. You start getting a little more, like, you're more into humanity. You've, you've already been through a few tower moments, five of cups. You've been bummed out, felt like you missed a boat. You start learning from your, your um, interactions instead of reacting to them, okay? And that's your card, and that's your energy. Then you go into the fourth stage of Scorpio, which is, whoa, three of swords. The fourth stage is the serpent, three of swords, the cut, the one that hurts, the one that leaves its mark. If you're this Scorpio, you become more protective of your environment. You become more of like a king cobra than a serpent, right? And you just kind of want to latch out at moments while you're adjusting to this frequency because it's a lot of work to deal. Then you could get to the fifth level of Scorpio. You're the wolf, temperance. Could be a Scorpitarius too. Sagittarius shows up to give us some more knowledge here as well. The wolf. If you're this Scorpio, you have become more aware of all the energies around you, okay? And you become a nurturer for others. It's the card of alchemy, of balance, and of healing. Your gifts also go through a metamorphosis at this stage as they heighten and they strengthen, okay? You start tapping into Akashic Records, Sag Energy, Knowledge, Sag Energy, and trying to learn to do what Sag does, all right? It brings in a lot of creation. You could also be a manifesting generator with that, too. Then we go into the sixth stage. All right, as you're going through your ascensions after the wolf, then you can come into the eagle, hermit card, Virgo energy. The eagle is exactly like this. The Scorpio is described, uh, I would best describe it as the American bald eagle. You know, you have this trust and this faith. You stay internal. You, you, you have trust and faith in the process. You have the ability to guide, to lead others. Six house influence big time as you're in this level here. It's a teacher energy as well. Then you get to the grand rising. You get to the seventh incarnation of Scorpio energy, the Phoenix, the world card. I just got chills, Scorpio. This is why I do tarot. This is the world card, the Phoenix. If, if you're a Phoenix Scorpio or Mesa, you know, Mesa is basically like Phoenix. It's still in Arizona, but we'll just call it Phoenix. Just call it Phoenix, Scorpio. You've rose from the ashes like a Phoenix and have been through the deepest, the darkest nights of the soul and have come to that point of completion to, to go forward. You you have the ability now to fly above the rest and to soar in an entire different energy, a different frequency, and a new light. It's a whole live and let live energy, okay? So it's a point of completion when you make it to the Phoenix. Which one of those seven levels are you? Um, maybe you know. Leave a comment. Let me know. I love Scorpios for that. You guys get so deep, so influential. Eight health energy. I love when the sun's in Scorpio. You guys are gorgeous. Thank you, Spirit. We are so grateful for this message. This was beautiful. Um, you're focusing on healing a lot here, okay? Um, I can have a lot of Phoenixes in my crowd here, which that's how we roll. That's OG energy, too. And a lot of these things about you that you miss about them, you may actually have a little tunnel vision going on about that, Scorp, because like I see other options here as well. You, your lead card was the Seven of Cups. So at the moment here, you've, you've got a secret admirer and they're watching you. It's not creepish. They actually really admire you and like they know you've been through a lot. Three of Swords to the Temperance, to the Hermit, to the World card. Strong Sagittarius and Virgo energy on that. That you have, have, have been through so many times of abandonment and having to work and heal on your own you, without people helping you. And you did it on your own. You successfully did it. You created, it's the card of alchemy and the card of trust. And it comes in stronger than you ever believed on this to the world card. Climbing the stairs in five inch heels and emperor energy, looking freaking good doing it. And if you're a guy, you just know how to rock a suit and tie. Right. 
Okay. All right. So Scorpio, check this out with that world card. Give me clarifiers going Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups to the Emperor, Aries, Cancer, Virgo energy. A little Taurus and Cappy on that Knight of Pentacles too, but I'm pulling hardcore Virgo. Seven of Pentacles, long term, down in the trenches to go the distance. The card just jumped out of my hands and went right towards, it went towards my wand. <laughs> Easy, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. All right. With it, dudes, it could be the same thing. They might be really nervous here about reaching out or connecting, but it's going to happen. Seven of Pentacles, maybe your life path number seven or something about July. July 4th could mean something to you. But um, they're really nervous about reaching out here. And guess, you know what they're going to do, Scorpio? Give me, clar give me clarifiers. Is that what they're going to do? The Hierophant, you know they're going to do it, Archer, Taurus Energy. They're going to use your birthday as a reason to reach out, Scorpio. It, it's, it's the easiest point to take, right? And, the, and human 3D bodies are known to take the path of least resistance. So, like, let's just say here that they're going to find that reason to reach out, here a thought, and it's going to spark something here. It's going to ignite a spark and ignite a passion that will bring a successful partnership here. All right? You haven't even seen it. I think the person crushing on you is your person. They're in a new energy. Six of freaking wands. Caitlin's back. We've come full circle. This is where this deck was at when I picked it up. So, yeah, you're going to a full victory point, standing on stage like Caitlin Petty singing all her songs, freaking getting a standing ovation, Beatles, freaking Shea Stadium. Oh, yeah, she should get a Rickenbacker. Those 12 string Ricks are nice. But, yeah, it's that it's being like looking out on the energetical shift and being like, yeah, I did this. We created this. Twin Flame Energy, Twin Flame Union, we're at a point for that to build and heal from the past on this one here. But, it's like Hierophant, Taurus, World Card, Temperance, Six of Wands, the Star Card, Dead Stop, Kith, the Star Card, Strong Twin Energy, Aquarius here. Aquarius is basically like on all signs. This Star Card has been making dollar rounds. Aquarius gets all the knowledge. They're receiving from all 12 energies. You guys are each other's guiding lights, each other's end-all be-alls here. And with this energy coming in, when you guys went into your separation, your quiet phase, their karmic reward, Scorpio, <laughs> reward, that's, I use that term very loosely, was that they actually had to go through everything they put you through. And I don't see them resentful of it. I'm actually seeing a place of remorse from this with the star card. They actually did the work and started realizing, oh my God, I did this to Scorpio. This is what I did to Scorpio. Oh my gosh, it's happening to me now. Um, this is allowing them to raise up Six of Wands, star card, Aquarius, Leo energy, Aries on this emperor and meet you on an even energetical exchange. This is like a two-way energy because their karma was to experience what they put you through. Seven of friggin cups. I just got chills all over. Thank you spirit. So grateful. Your lead in card, your lead in energy and the big focal point of this, the seven of cups comes right back as we go full circle on this here as I'm talking about the two-way energetical exchange. July 7th could be a date that resonates to you. Cancer, Scorpio energy both of you guys did I not just mention that you meet on an even energetical exchange is why for you look Tarot look at that that's gorgeousness right there so they actually did the work to come in on this one here and this is this is the person that went from loving you to falling in love with you star card hierophant the world card seven of cups and I'm seeing man you guys are dreaming about each other a lot aren't you ten of cups Pisces energy thank you spirit grateful right here you guys are and i'm seeing that music's even going to speak to you guys more like uh this month going forward that song you have that just totally reminds you of them or the song that's like your guys' song that you would have guess what as union gets closer and your energies get drawn in tighter you're going to start noticing that song playing a lot more it's going to be on radio stations and spotify and showing up in your algorithm people are going to start using it for like background music on like tiktok and, and instagram and it's, it's just all signs and signals that this Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, Pisces, Leo energy, and a straight-up victory for the two of you guys is right there, right on those skirts. All right? Love it. Scorpio, I appreciate you very much for being here. I hope you have the best solar return yet because it's your birthday and you deserve to. Go out, enjoy, and have a good time. And I'm sending you the biggest hug so that you have a happy birthday, okay? Um, you got a lot of great energy here. Libra, big time. Leo, big, big time. Cancer's also here, Aquarius making the rounds, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo. You're here too, though, and uh, Leo and Pisces, if I didn't mention them. So I know it's Sagittarius too. Temperance was just like, don't forget about me. I'm right here. <laughs> so, yeah, you get all the healing. You get all the healing, Scorpio. 
If this resonated, please leave a comment down below here. Uh, I love to interact with you guys. Sometimes I know it takes me a minute because I got like two jobs and I'm doing a lot of stuff. Um, but I do love them. I read them all. And I also do like and eventually do comment back on them. So um, I appreciate you for everything. Love the like for me. Of course, subscribe, set the bell. Don't forget to mark your calendars for the live 1111 collab at 12 noon Eastern here on the channel. And um, check out the base covers, the playlists. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And of course, Scorpio, darling, remember, this will resonate to any and all placements of Scorpio within your chart because we are FHA compliant here at Archer Astrology and will read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires through our chakra. Um, we're not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but all the parts of all our charts. And I love you very much to the moon and back. Thank you for being here and being part of the family. And thank you, Spirit, for the messages today. Until next time, Scorpio, love you to the moon and back. Namaste. Peace out, Archer. Yeah, Cherry. Love you.